guys I hope you're all doing really well today so um, you'll have to excuse my makeup if it looks a little weird today um, it's been on a long time and it's looking kind of faded and a little funky so um, but uh, with that disclaimer um, I am excited to show you guys like these tons of items I just got like a whole bunch of drugstore items over the past like maybe week and a half some of them I haven't even tried some of them I've tried a little bit or at least swatched and stuff so I wanted to tell you about those things so I found at my Walgreens uh, these Wet n Wild eye color icon shadows. So these are like the, um, I can't remember what they called it. It was like pop, like a pop edition or something like that. And some of these color combinations are really, really weird. Um, so I wouldn't get like the trio just to make a look with those three things. But in general, these shadows are really pigmented. So I'm going to swatch them all for you. And you can find swatches for these on the internet. But like here, there's like a yellow, a purple, and a pink and they all swatch really nicely and this is without any primer or anything and uh, here this is probably my favorite quad um, there's a orange a blue and a brown um, the orange it's not showing up on my skin tone very well right here but it does show up just fine and then um, there is a light yellow blue and orange and I'll show you those they just kind of they're all like pretty pigmented. All of them are kind of like that. There's also a quad that is a red, dark black, and white. And all three of those colors are actually really good too. So here's the, the trio. And those are, the black is like super pigmented. And red is like hard to find for an eye color. And um, then there is like a lime green, bright blue, and purple. And those are swatch right there and then there is a pink blue and tan and I don't really care for this one very much because the tan doesn't really show up the pink doesn't show up a ton and then the blue isn't a color that I really use a lot but anyway so I got I think all of them or almost all of those trios uh, that you can find I think they're all limited edition I'm not sure if they're well they say limited edition like on the little thing so they probably won't be available for a long time but if you like bright colors um, check these out because they're mostly all matte there's like maybe one or two that weren't matte but the rest are matte and they're pretty bright for like super cheap budget and you could like depot all these stick them in a z palette and then you'd have like a whole bunch of bright colors um and like i said uh they're not so good like in the individual trios like here for example it says brow bone yellow crease blue and eyelid orange like i think that's sort of strange or like um like this one says brow bone lime green crease blue and eyelid purple that's sort of strange too, but for what they are anyway, like if you depot them, you can use them for a bunch of different like colorful looks. So I got those. I also got one other Wet n Wild trio. This one's the one called I'm Getting Sunburned. And uh, this one's actually really nice. This dark color is like super, super pigmented. I went to try to do an eye look the other day and I put just a little bit on my brush and started to put it in the crease and I was like, whoa, way too much. And then I got myself in trouble because I, I, I ran out of time for what I was doing and I was like, ah, I was, you know, doing the, the, uh, thing that you do when you accidentally put way too much of some eye thing on your eye and you're trying to like get it off and fix it and uh, so that happened to me with this so if you get this trio really really pigmented but still like you know you can use it for super darkening up like like a smoky eye this would be great and stuff and then I actually used these two colors together to do a look and when I did this pink color actually ended up looking kind of like lilac -y. it was actually really pretty and then there's like a bronzy color that is also super pretty in this trio so those three look like that right there and with no primer. See how pigmented that is? Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But anyway, um, and then I also picked up a, um, so that new Ioni Cosmetics or Ioni Cosmetics, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, the one that's sold at Fred's Discount Store in some place areas of the country. Um, they, I tried their Lash Affair Lengthening Mascara Waterproof. So this only comes in waterproof, unfortunately. But this is actually a super decent mascara. I, again, I can't remember how much, if it was $2 or $2.50. A little bit of this stuff, like, clumps up over here. But it's super black. The I was able, it says it's a lengthening mascara, but 
I was actually able to get a really good amount of volume with this. It almost kind of reminded me a little bit of like L'Oreal Voluminous, um, which has been like an all-time like favorite of mine, like a, a long-time favorite anyway. So if you are looking for a really cheap mascara, like waterproof for some event or something, you might want to get this and try it out and see if you like it. Because it, And it is waterproof, by the way, like it will stay. I have to like really um, work with some really good remover to get it off at the end of the day or it won't come off. So the next product that I got is actually from Ulta. And so I was in Ulta looking at their hair accessories, hair items, because I had some points. And at my Ulta, the way that they do their point system is um, for every like dollar you spend, like they add it up over the quarter and you get like a certain number of points and then you can pick free merchandise off of a list. So I had two points left and for each point I could get like a hair item that was $5 or under. And I really didn't need any hair items and nothing was like really striking me, like jumping out at me. And so I was looking at kind of like the things that I normally wouldn't purchase or spend my money on like the hair gadget gizmos and so I found this one to make a ponytail and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put this thing like um, you put up like half of your hair and then you put the thing at the base underneath that and then you you like wrap it in the rest of your hair and it's supposed to like make your ponytail thicker like you wrap um, your uh, ponytail holder like around the thing and then it makes your ponytail just look thicker like so it's like for people who have thin hair so they can make their ponytail look nicer so I thought there's no way this thing is gonna actually work or whatever but I bought it and it actually works it actually does what it says it's supposed to do um, the only downside about it is that it's a clear color and so um, like if you turn under or something like you you might be able to see you, it underneath your hair or like if your hair is not as thick as mine like my hair is very thick but it's actually like thin like the strands are thin so when I put my hair into a ponytail my actual ponytail is not very thick but I have a lot of hair like I have enough hair to cover this thing but if you had really thin hair to begin with that might it might not work but anyway I'm gonna show you this thing and before I do though I have to tell you <laughs> disclaimer um, I, ha I thought twice about this actually because it looks a little bit um, uh, well, I'm going to let you guys fill in the blank for yourselves, but uh, anyway, this is the thing. It looks like this, so uh, yeah, um, I thought they should make it different hair colors like brown and, and whatever, but there might be a reason why they didn't do that, so uh, I'm going to let you guys uh, figure that one out for yourselves too. <laughs> so anyway, you put this thing at the base of your head, basically like that, and then you cover it up. Um, with your ponytail and then like you, you, I don't know, I'm doing like a horrible job of this, but you put your ponytail holder around it and then like it, it stays and it makes your ponytail thicker. So anyway, if you've been looking for an object like that, this thing definitely works. So try it out. It was like five bucks. Other stuff that I got, I got from Boots. Uh, I got uh, a number seven um, blush in the shade Honey and I purchased this because I've been really into nude blushes lately and I thought it was just a really pretty nude color. It's sort of brownish. It's more brown than the Tarte Exposed. So if you like Tarte Exposed, that one comes off a little more pinky like on the uh, skin than this, but this is still, I wouldn't call it like a very unwearable, like too brown color. Um, it's still really nice. So anyway, I bought this and then I realized when I got home I actually have it already and I already loved it. I just didn't realize that it was the same shade. I thought that when they did the repackaging they came out with new shades, but apparently they didn't. So um, the one thing that you can notice though about it is that I I think they're the same price, but check it out. Old packaging, new packaging. So now I get why they revamped their packaging. Less product for your money. And then I picked out the new Rimmel uh, Exaggerate Undercover Shadow Primer. I haven't had a chance to try this yet, but I want to try this thing. Are the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows in Eternal Black and Continuous Cocoa. So Continuous Cocoa is sort of more of like a matte type thing. Well, I guess it does have shimmer in it. I don't know. It's not like totally the matte formula, but it's not as shimmery as a lot of the other ones that they have. But super dark brown and continuous or an eternal black is like really, really pretty shimmery. It's like really nice. Um, actually, that one I'm going to swatch for you because it's the shimmer in it is like gorgeous if you can tell. And I did that swatch obviously not very thick, but the shimmer is really 
like the glitter is like a really pretty glitter um i don't know if it showed up very well in that swatch or not but it is really pretty oh i guess you can tell more like in the container in the container is kind of like what it looks like that's really pretty so i got both of those because i have most of the l'oreal infallible eyeshadows i absolutely love them they're fantastic and i got these because i thought they might be interesting for doing smoky eyes like um you know smudging both of these dark colors like close to the lash line and smudging them out so i'm gonna try those out and use them like that but well that does it for this drugstore haul guys. I wanted to tell you guys that this week I actually am like a proper YouTuber because I am on Twitter now and I'm on Instagram and I also uh, redesigned my blog which I started like a long time ago and I actually haven't posted in a year but I'm gonna get back to that officially and probably by the time I post this video I will have like a new blog post and there's also some great blog posts that I did like a year ago on brushes like makeup brushes and like Hakuhodo brushes and and just like really informative information so I will put a link to my blog in the description bar of this video but also like on my homepage my YouTube homepage like there's links for um, like Twitter Instagram and my blog as well so anyway um, I am super technology resistant so the Twitter and Instagram thing was like a big step for me it took me forever forever to get my iPhone because I was just like a phone is for calling people and for texting people I don't need the internet I don't need all of that stuff. Sure, it's cool, but I don't need that. And, and finally, like, I played with an iPhone for the first time, and then I was like, oh, I need that. <laughs> So anyway, um, that's kind of how I am with technology. So like Twitter I haven't gotten on before and Instagram I haven't gotten on before. I'm just like way living back in the dark ages with all of that. So finally I am current and I am on there. So you guys should totally tweet me or you know Instagram me something. I don't even know if that's the proper term but uh, yeah. So look me up on both of those and I will be really excited to see you guys on there because uh, like it's, it's to the point where like I set it all up and now if I get a tweet or something I'm like oh I got a tweet like it makes me so excited so um anyway I wanted to tell you guys my big news for the week so thank you so much for watching I hope you're all enjoying the ends of your summers and maybe the beginning of your school years if you're in school for me personally summer is my favorite month so it does make me a little sad to see it go away but I am excited about like all the new fall shades I love like all the burnt oranges and things like that and then pretty soon um the holiday kits like come out and that's like my favorite time of year as far as like the makeup industry is concerned so I love all the holiday kits um, but anyway thanks again guys so much for watching I hope that you found this video helpful I'll talk to you guys again soon love you bye